Don't be like me. Don't procrastinate. Take the test as soon as you can so that way you can get on this in this career as soon as possible. Practice exams and I would literally, every answer that I would get wrong, I would literally write what I got wrong and I would answer. I would write the question and I would write the answer and I would literally study this. And this is how much, like, look at all these notes. Like, it's... You have to put in the work in order to pass this exam. And I'm more than happy to share with you guys my study tips and give you guys some additional tips like for specific learning types, if you'd like. But yeah, so like I really, it's re it really it really got real like it really gets real so if you're willing to do the work and you're willing to put in the work you can achieve a passing score there was times where i had i was studying and i would have to stop studying to breastfeed my daughter i would study i would stop studying and i would go feed my you know cook dinner for my son cook dinner for my family feed my daughter and then go back into studying like you can do this you can do this you can do this for sure for sure like if you really really want to do this you can do this before you take the exam the night before you take the exam i know there's some people that recommend that night before you take the exam to not study at all let that information marinate but me i had to study up until the time i walked in the door i studied flashcards i studied there's key terms that they had the uh, course that i went through so i studied that i just did a lot of listening like youtube videos like a lot of auditory things to where it would really help me just get that information in repetition that really helped me make sure you eat you know make sure you eat good make sure you have a good night's rest because if you're tired you're not gonna be you're gonna be so tired you're not even really gonna be able to think about the test make sure that you do everything that you can to ensure that you are comfortable when you are taking the exam so you don't have to you know go back and forth to the restroom or take your mind off of anything other than you passing the exam another thing complete the exam as soon as possible so what i mean by that is don't be like me it took me a year to pass the exam what you can really do is you could really pass this test in 30 days or less that's what i recommend doing it quickly so get your 20 hour course in immediately after you're done with your course get a practice exam get a um study um get you an exam prep course immediately after that depending on your uh, lifestyle how you're able how much time you're able to put in to study then schedule the exam and take the exam like i i really think that you should do it as soon as possible the longer you wait the more the information is going to skip away from your mind. And not only that, the laws are all, they're changing all the time. If you wait a long time, then things could change by the time you actually take the exam. Last time I took the exam and this time there are some things that actually changed. So I actually like, have to restudy that, that, that material over again. So take it as soon as possible. Like once you decide that this is something you want to do, take the 20 hour course and get that exam prep schedule and take the exam as soon as possible. The biggest thing that people struggle with and this is the biggest thing that i struggle with is time management you have to manage your time to get this done this is something you can do one of my last tips will be make the sacrifice what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get this done and the reason why i'm saying you can do it is because i have so many things on my plate but still i managed to put the time into study i am a mother of two I have a five-year-old. I have a three-month-old. I currently breastfeed. So my life is very demanding. Those are just the parents part of what I do. I have a full-time job. I'm a supervisor. I manage multiple people. And that doesn't even add on to the house duties, the laundry, the dinner, the lunch, the cooking, the cleaning. Like, there's I have so much on my plate but at the end of the day I told myself that if I really want this I'm going to put in the work so yes you may have a lot of things on your plate you may have a lot of things that you have to deal with I do too but 
what are you willing to risk or what are you willing to put in? What work are you willing to put in in order to get this taken care of? You can do it. It can be done. If you guys want anybody that has kids or anybody that has a busy lifestyle like myself, if you want tips on how to get this done with a busy lifestyle, I am more than happy to share this with you guys. I'm more than happy to share it with you guys how to um, manage your time so that you can pass this exam. If you failed the exam before, it's okay. I felt the exam before. Um, one thing I will say now, this is another reason why it's important that you do um, look at the uh, test outline is because if you fail the exam, so this is my last tip that I'm going to give you guys. And that's why I, I wanted you guys to watch to the end because this is like probably the most important tip. And this is for people that has not that this is for people that's taken the test and has failed. If you fail the exam, what my recommendation is, is to, when you fail the exam, they give you this paper. Whether you pass or fail, they give it to you. So the first time I failed, they give it to you. And basically what it is, is it tells you, it's a section. It gives you your information, candidate information, which is your name, the test center, your NMLS ID number, your date of, the, not the date of birth, your date. Um, the second section is a test score. It gives you a fail or a pass. My first time was a fail. Gave me the percentage. I fell with a 64% the first time. And it gives you the section analysis. So like I was saying earlier when I was telling you guys about the test outline, it gives you the how it's weighted. Well, it doesn't tell you like the percentages, but it tells you the different content that you are graded by. And then it tells you how you measured up in regards to it. So what you got the lowest performance on, study that more than what you got like adequate performance or borderline performance. So for example, when I first took the exam, I got for general mortgage knowledge, I got very low performance, very low performance and mortgage loan origination activities. I got low performance, everything else I got borderline. So what I did the second time around is I focused most of my studying on general mortgage knowledge and mortgage loan origination activities. And that is what really helped me pass. I just wanted to give you guys some tips because the reason why is because in that group that I'm in, there's a, like people are commenting daily. People are asking for questions daily. People are um, asking for tips daily. People are, you know, people want to pass this exam and this is a, a big need for it. I will go um, create another video on how I got into the industry and more on to how to actually get the, the your license because this is just how to pass the exam. This video is literally just passing the exam. It has nothing to do with like all the steps that it takes to get your license, but there is like a step, a step by step process you have to go through in order to get your license. And I am, I believe, uh, out of the steps, I am almost to the, I have two more things I have to do and I, or two or three more things I have to do and I'll be able to get my license. But if you guys like this video, then please give me a thumbs up so I know that this is the type of content that you guys like to watch. Also, um, subscribe to my channel because I am going to be posting more videos like this. I'm going to be posting more, um, things in regards to my, um, journey on how I become a mortgage loan officer because this is something that I am going to be getting into. If you guys have any questions about it, if you guys, if there's any something that you guys want me to make more clear or something you guys want me to explain a little bit more in detail, then definitely comment down below and I will get back with you guys. If I get enough questions on, you know, a specific topic and you guys want me to elaborate on something that I will um, create a whole video on it. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you watch to this video to an end, then uh, leave a, um, um, leave a, a money bag emoji, leave a money bag emoji. If you watch this video to, to the entire end, leave a money bag emoji so that I know that you guys watched it to the end. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.